Hey guys, it's Lou with Phoenix Laser. We're kicking off another episode of Beyond the Weld today. Um, we bounced back and forth between some fusion weld applications, some filler wire. Today we're going to be dealing with fusion application yet again. This one's really cool, part of the firearm manufacturing sector, um, where we're going to be laser welding a suppressor. So we're going to get situated over by the system with Alex and show you what we're working on. So we might have mentioned previously how the alpha laser welders that we utilize are CNC compatible. We're going to showcase that today on this suppressor weldment. Um, so Alex, can you explain what you got situated here with the fixture and the program um, yeah. on the system? So basically we have our indexer that comes standard, mounted to a plate with a pneumatic arm that goes in there to hold the suppressor together, and we make sure all these baffles inside our line. So once we get it set, I can go ahead and line it up with the welder, hit go, and it'll run the whole thing. So this is a program we already have saved and can come back to time and again? Correct. Awesome. And we can adjust it if they change sizes or whatever. Excellent. And what's the material of this suppressor? These ones are titanium. Okay. So a lot of titaniums are, or a lot of suppressors are titanium. We also deal with some 17.4 um, suppressors as well. So our viewers at home might be wondering why the laser's not pulsing like it typically does in most of our videos. Can you explain why that is? Uh, so we're running in CW mode, which is continuous wave, and it makes a strong bond, and it looks more consistent with a smooth finish. And when we're in CW mode, that helps achieve full penetration, correct? Correct. We also have gas coming in from the back. That way we have a nice clean weld. And still using the argon as the purging gas, correct? Right. Yep. Awesome. Now, once it got to the end of the suppressor, you, the settings in the machine change and it'll run back over everything again to give it a nice smooth finish. Okay. Very good. And one thing that's great about the alpha welders that we can save these programs and come back to them. So whether we get the same job next week in six months or two years, we're going to have that program saved. So as long as the dimensions and the part doesn't change, the welds won't change when we get those back in. And they are hot. Thanks for checking in on another episode of Beyond the Weld. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be talking with you guys again soon.